I wonder if <gasps> Alan oh, would ever get off his fat ass and ever and start a heels on the ground. I mean, how's this channel going? Anybody know? See, I got nothing to hide. I've I basically told you guys every speckle tickle of my life. Nothing to hide. You're under an investigation. Ma, oh, you're in trouble. Ma, oh, you're in trouble. No, bitch. I think you're in trouble because YouTube doesn't like you. And YouTube doesn't want you. So what the hell happened with Crazy Pants Michelle? So she did one live on a new channel? What the hell happened on this channel? And why did she last only one day? Does anybody know what happened? So I did hear what happens with the, uh, the, uh, that redhead, um, person. I heard everybody went against her. I, did I not predict that two weeks ago? I did. I said it was going to happen. I think I said it on your channel. By the way, are you going to click that? Are you going to clip that? I hope someone goes over to 90 day on blast. Uh, and clips that. Although, otherwise, I think 90 Days on Blast is going to go over there and clip it herself and say, holy shit. And she's going to make lots of money on that clip where she clips it. Holy shit. And it's going to say, Molly Golightly was right. And she's going to clip it and make a new video. And she's going to make lots of money on it. I was right about Michelle. I've been read, uh, right about the redhead. Let's keep going. Oh, I can predict whose fucking channel is coming down to. They want to be cute. Channel coming down. Did I hear the latest? Tell me. Who wants to come up and tell me stuff? Word, moving okay. forward. Marissa. If we spend two minutes each, it's... You must be psychic, Molly. No kidding. I just... Listen, I've been doing this for a long time. Yo, bish. Hey. What happened? Don't say any channel's names or I'll kill you. Just say their first okay. name. Okay. What happened? So, so Flavor, Flavor went mm -hmm. to, did her, she wanted, she just didn't like who she was becoming and didn't like them over there in the ship. I, I guess I should say. Her. Well, I know that she went on Bombshell Reloaded. Yes. Yes. So they, they cut her they cut her off and started talking I heard. crap about her. And I so think then that's the best thing in the entire world because I, ha I have told Flava, every time Flava has reached out to me, which is, is maybe two or three times, very brief, I've told her, listen, just don't trust these people, listen. I, 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 I've told her, don't trust these people. These people are very vile. And I'm glad that they're getting away from this redhead. I did put a video together. And of course, it's limited ads, just like everything else. Is but this yeah, redhead this is, who I call Stinkbox? Stinkbox? Okay, we'll call her Stinkbox. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. We're I like to call her people. redhead Rotten Crotch. Go ahead. Okay, well, she's she was on panel tonight over in Bombs, Flavor, and was spilling the tea about what they've been doing behind their back and what she didn't want to be a part of. And then, um, <clears throat> Stinkbox Hemorrhoid came on, Snozzleberry, and she I wouldn't started, trust her with a 10 foot call. Bombs Are you listening to played, me? played her so much because she didn't admit nothing. She just was like, well, I was just listening to everybody. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. Wait. But, oh, yeah. oh, wait, wait, wait. So I was right about her as well. Absolutely. She saw her for who she was and said, I don't trust you. Oh my God. I so I called that one too. Yep. So now, now because she went up on panel with that, so she got dropped by the ship. Now she's out on her own because she went up on pat like she doesn't know what she's doing. Who but cooks, who, cook, who kicks Snozberry off? You did. 
No, no, no. Who kicked them off the oh. panel and said, get the fuck out of here? Bomb. Bomb show. Oh, Bomb, he gets a super... No, I'm going to give her a fucking cash app. She's not going to expect it, though. Go ahead. Keep going. And then, um, you know, the only one that was being truthful and telling it who, what it was and who was doing what and what they were doing was Flavin. She owned up to everything and told everything, you know? And supposedly stick boxes in the hospital. She had an eye stroke or something. An eye stroke? Yeah, she like something. I mean, I hope it's like she's okay. I don't wish no harm on anybody, but apparently, I never what is heard an of an eye, eye stroke? stroke. She's now she's blind in her left eye for right now. I guess oh. I'm here. Okay, so the stress has got to her. Sounds yeah. like a little bit of Bell's palsy. Yeah, it looks like everybody's starting to see her for who she really is. And um, she, I thought I told everybody and tried to save them the trouble. So you're telling me that I told everybody, don't trust that snaz person. She's fake as fuck. And mm -hmm. I was right. Yes. Okay. All right. Because someone was, yes. I, I, I went over there for a hot second and she was, uh, I heard what I did hear that the, the splice where Flava says, I don't like my life being all out there. Yeah, uh, people bringing up my past, and yeah, that she's, caused she's, me to make a video. It's on limited ads. You'll see me wearing the same thing. Um, you'll see me wearing the same thing. I will release it when they tell me it's uh, what you call it. But you'll see this the date stamped, and I and I give kind of like a life coaching to all these people. Um, yeah, I I did say that. I did say that. So what made, um, but it seemed like Snaz was trying to kiss everyone's ass, right? Yeah, like she's she's the, she's a follower. She's the guest person. She's oh, absolutely. I think she's as fake as my tits. And, you know, Bomb knew she was being fake and phony because every everybody that was asking her questions, including the panel, everything she said, she's like, I, I don't know. I, I guess I was just dumb and stupid. Uh, she wouldn't. She wouldn't own up for anything. Every everything was. Oh, I guess I just listened to everybody else. I mean, it's disgusting of what they're doing over there. It's disgusting. I mean, I didn't do you, know exactly what they were doing though. Did you hear the latest? That poor t kid, that ha guy that has autism. Yes, and he speaks I did. about his life, and they they totally. You know, this guy, he he made a video about it with Amber on, on panel, and he was calling him an, an F word. There, it was and, a black guy? Yes. And she was giggling? Giggling and laughing. And it was hard it. to listen to, and you can't so finish hard. the video? So, yes, yeah, so so one of my friends did send it to me. And I went, so oh my it was God. So heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. And people, but guess what? Yeah, so if you follow this girl, I don't want I don't want you following me. I don't, I don't like you. I don't I don't trust your judgment. I can't I can't I can't share followers mm -hmm. with a person that thinks that a person like that is a good person. What was so funny about the stuff that he was singing? I didn't think you know what? was funny. I actually he came to back on, he came back and came back hard and strong, Molly. And he told her how the fuck she is. I'm sorry, but he she he came right back at her. Well and I'm proud of him. Did you hear me the other night say I'm telling you, she's worse than Michelle? Does anybody remember me saying that? You said that the other night. You said it last night. You yeah. said it. You said it a lot. Yeah. He's worse than Michelle. Michelle's pretty fucking bad. And Absolutely. like I said, I think I said it a few weeks back. Bombshell mm -hmm. is definitely not the worst. I'm gonna say bombshell is in the 40s. Yeah, I can think of a lot. If you were to line worse. them up, out of who's the worst, there's a lot of shit bags, but she's way in the 40s. I don't consider her to be one of the bad people. Nah. No. There's this one Pacific person that's over there on that panel over there. And I don't even want to say her name to give her any play out. It begins with an S. Just, oh. 
Do you know who I'm talking about? Put it in the private chat. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, she's in the top fucking. Oh. But oh. down with her, with her, she's a total mm -hmm. pussy. Um, what's his that. name? What is his name? Um, Donald, the one who's did? given head, the one that's given head to Don Wells. He mm -hmm. took her to court, right? Did you? Yeah. Did you hear what, what he, she did so today? Stupid, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what she did? She mm -hmm. told the judge, she started busting out in tears. Okay, this monster, this grueling monster. So it's balling out in tears, you guys. Uh, I'm only playing what she said was a caricature. So she's very low IQ. And she talks like this. She's got a shitty marriage. She's very unhappy at home. She told her tell. husband. And let me tell you something. Even dirty ass freaking ragamuffin Benny Keys turns her down for sex. She threw herself well, at him. So she's dirty. He I don't know how true dirty. this is, but wait till you hear this one. Speaking of Dolly and her, she served him today at her his brother's funeral. What? Yeah, that's what I, I heard it by two people. I don't what? know how true it is. She served him papers today at his brother's funeral. That's what I heard twice. Twice. I heard it twice. And once, once out of Flavor's Mail tonight on panel. Yes. Let me ask Andrew. She's probably asleep. She's also a fucking liar. At his brother's funeral, sir? Yeah, but then I heard she did it. Today, I heard it by two different people that she did do it. Why would anybody listen to her again? Why would anybody think that that's cool or funny or okay? They claim to be these people that stick up for people, but they're just boys. They're just scum. They're disgusting. Really? And all um, they do is just talk about everybody and like upset it, with you. It, I found out after it was Summer Wells' birthday. And I woke up that morning and I went to Party City and I went and I spent almost $200, almost oh, 200 I went and I bought a cake, streamers, lights, all these things. And I said, it's Summerwell's birthday. And today we're gonna um, do a Summerwell's birthday party. And we're, I going that to, and we're going to do a Missing and Exploited Children, Center for Missing and Exploited Children uh, fundraiser. And I connected my YouTube channel with the Center of Missing Children. And we took in all these donations and I sang and I danced and I did my little thing. And because she was six years old at the very end, um, I donated, Ikmel gave 500 and I gave 600. I think that was how, how it was, right? At the very end. And it was so awesome. And at I guess maybe the next day. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. And at that very end, after the day was done and it felt good, it's always good to do a fundraiser and everybody's happy. Everybody got a receipt. Um, from YouTube because that's how you do a real fundraiser. You definitely don't do it the way uh, Redhead Rotten Crotch did it, where you take in the donations on your channel. You don't want to ever do that, um, ever, ever. You never want to do that. Um, as soon as you donate, I, I can't even get super chats, but I did, I donated. And um, it turns out, that, that big old pussy bitch with the mouth whose husband doesn't do it for her anymore um, with the dirty fucking feet and the dirty, filthy fucking mouth.
I can say it because it sounds hot coming out of my mouth. I mean, I, I guess I can do an impression of her. You probably can try. I might, <laughs> I might scare the shit out of Violet and the Tom Cruise stand-up poster. Um, cricket! Fuck you, Cricket! And fuck you, Chili, for being on that fucking panel! Fuck you, Molly Golightly! I mean, she's disgusting! Anyway, she put up a fucking, um, I saw the screenshot. She put up a, I've never visited her channel once in five years. She had a screenshot that said, nobody go over to Molly Golightly's channel tomorrow because she's probably going to do a fundraiser, something like that. And she predicted, and she was right, that I was going to do a fundraiser. But what do you know? Okay. It, uh, there, some people are just so ugly on the inside, it's not even funny. Because they're not happy. They hate their life. Imagine being, they with have husband, imagine you're be, being with a husband that you hate. I mean... It, it's true. Imagine being with a Misery loves person. company. Yeah. Your mouth yeah. is so filthy that a, a guy doesn't want to kiss you. I mean, she's wants to punch every every word out of her mouth is punching somebody or she come see you me. Think that a girl, do you think that a, a a a big old tough bitch who's crying in front of a judge? Why was she crying in front of a judge? Judge, please. I'm I'm only playing a caricature. Why was she crying? Was she facing the death penalty? No, the answer is no. Well, then why would you be crying? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. If I was, if I was in, if I was in court with this YouTube little bullshitter, I'd be standing there like this. And, mm -hmm. it's everything. Take my kid, take no, then take my kid. Just take my kid, please. You need to let her. You need to let her. Take my money, please. Take your money now, please. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wasting your time. Mm hmm. No, facing my time, there would be no time. I like, said uh -huh. wasting it. Yeah, wasting my time. I feel, uh-huh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you. Boom. Out. Nothing would be happening. I wouldn't have a lawyer. There would be no, no reason to. There would be no reason to. Why is she crying? She was crying for one reason only. Because she's a mega pussy. Because when it comes down to the confrontation, she's a big ass pussy. Do what you want to do, rape me, stab me, shoot me in the head, I'll give a fuck. You want me, don't you? I can tell you want me. Why is she sending people down to Savannah instead of going down there for themselves? Because they're pussies. Thank you. Well, do they it do it. Yeah. Why? Do it yourself. Why are you sending they, some little crack lady that looks like the planter's peanut with no teeth? <laughs> Why would you do that? The dog, oh, let's go. Let's go find my little Lily. We're going to go follow her at the Olive Garden. Oh, I didn't know she was. Oh, uh, oh, there's 40 Olive Gardens in Florida. Oh no, we're at the wrong on the guard. Oh, oh, oh. What are you gonna do? That's obsession right there. That's what that is.
Why are they all obsessed with me? I don't know, but every every time they're over there live, that all they do well, you're you're people. in that you're in that lineup when they stream for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. From old to new, from old to new. Love it. They all want to make out with me. Cork looks like Tom Cruise. Yes. Oh my god. Cork's a lesbian. She identifies as a man. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's fine. She's oh, great. Totally, it's fine. <laughs> she identifies That's as a totally man. Fine. And when I meet her, I'm gonna make out with her. And I might even put her on YouTube. Imagine how many clicks that's going to get. The, the beach house content, it happened, you know, mid to the latter part of the year. And it's like, oh, but this is like right out of the gate of the first of the year. I'm like, holy bloop, holy bloop. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the year, people. What I was going to say is we hit some turbulence. We, we hit some with the, you know, when you have the number one content of 2023, it's going to be a little difficult not to hit a little turbulence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, people. It's going to be a little rocky, right? Uh...